Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the chip design industry, architecture technology is essential. In the chip architecture market, ARM and x86 architectures are in a monopoly position and have dominated the development of the chip industry for a long time. These two structures will be under the control of the United States, and participation will be restricted at will, so it is very important to master an independent and controllable structure. China has made great efforts in the free and open source RISC-V architecture, and the Chinese Academy of Sciences has made an important breakthrough. Some foreign media said, China chip has come up with hard power. What needs to be known is that the chip architecture refers to the overall design of the chip, including the connection method, data transmission method, operation method, etc. between the various modules inside the chip. Chip architecture is very important to chip design because it directly determines the performance power consumption and cost of the chip. A good chip architecture can improve the performance and power consumption ratio of the chip and reduce the cost, thereby increasing the competitiveness and market share of the chip. In the field of mobile terminals, the ARM architecture is in a monopoly position. Chip design giants such as MediaTek, Qualcomm, Apple and Zhiguang Zhanrui are all customers of ARM. In the field of PCs, Intel's x86 architecture occupies the core market share, and computers, servers, etc. generally use x86 architecture chips. Although these two structures are good, they are easily used by the United States to restrict the development of competitors at critical moments. Needless to say, Intel itself is a US company, so it will naturally follow the instructions of the US. ARM is essentially a British company, which was later acquired by Japan's SoftBank. Because it uses American technology, it is also subject to the United States. N.I. Guangnan, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, strongly recommended the RISC-V architecture, saying that RISC-V will provide opportunities for China to take the initiative in the chip industry. Call on domestic manufacturers to lay out RISC-V. The Chinese Academy of Sciences the institution with the strongest comprehensive scientific research strength in China, did not disappoint and officially announced the release of the second-generation open-source processor core Xiangshan based on the RISC-V architecture. The background of Xiangshan is not small. This is a project led by Beijing Open Source Chip Research Institute referred to as Kaisen Institute. Behind Kaisen Institute is the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Beijing and many domestic high-tech companies. Develop China's independent innovative high-performance RISC-V processor core. The second generation of Xiangshan has been released and is expected to be released in June. The architecture adopted is Nanhu. The first-generation architecture of Yenchi Lake will be released in 2021, and the third-generation architecture of Kunming Lake has also been planned, and the development work started in August last year. The RISC-V open-source processor core, Xiangshan, has three architecture versions, and the change of each generation version is a major breakthrough for Chinese CPUs. Xiangshan is still evolving. I believe there are not only three architecture versions, but there will be more architecture upgrades in the future. 
Some foreign media said, China chip has come up with hard power, and China continues to show the results of its RISC-V architecture layout. Previously, Alibaba released eight RISC-V processor chips, and now the open-source RISC-V processor core, Xiangshan, participated by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, released the second-generation Nanhu version. Perhaps the opportunity for China chip to break through self-reliance and self-improvement has come. Through the RISC-V architecture, China can get rid of the dependence on foreign architecture and realize the independent control of high-end processor chips. All of this is based on the free and open source features of RISC-V, as well as the major advantages of RISC-V. Its advantages are reflected in many aspects, such as high flexibility. The RISC-V architecture is highly configurable and can be customized and optimized according to the needs of the application. There is also great scalability. The RISC-V architecture supports multiple extensions, including vector, encryption, multiprocessor, and real-time extensions, to meet the needs of different applications. In addition to these, the RISC-V instruction set has a simple design, a relatively small number of instructions, and is easy to implement and optimize. It also features low power consumption, high efficiency, and low cost, and can be widely used in embedded systems, mobile devices, and cloud computing. Based on various advantages, it is no wonder that academician N.I. Guangnan strongly recommends the RISC-V architecture. The United States continues to hinder China's chip development, starting from multiple levels of software and hardware. If China needs to achieve independent and controllable architecture, it must start from RISC-V. Although China has made remarkable achievements in the RISC-V architecture, everything has just begun and foreign giants have only participated in the layout. To break the monopoly of foreign architectures, there is still a lot of work to be done. Therefore, China can increase investment in RISC-V, promote the development and standardization of RISC-V, and make it an internationally common instruction set architecture, thereby breaking the existing monopoly of the architecture. It is also possible to attract more manufacturers and developers to jointly promote the development of RISC-V by establishing a RISC-V ecosystem, including hardware, software, and tool chains. Grasping the market demand is also very important. Actively promote the application of RISC-V in key fields, such as artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, high-performance computing, etc., and open up a broader market space for it. RISC-V is a very good opportunity for the development of Chinese chips. The Chinese Academy of Sciences Alibaba and other domestic scientific research institutions and enterprises are scrambling to deploy. It is hoped that more people will participate in it and help China's chips break the ice.